tuning in today. I'm going to share with you how to get the whitest teeth ever right in your home. Okay, so there are a few things that you will need to obtain this. The first thing is hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Okay, the second thing is a whitening toothpaste, any kind of your choice. This is just the kind that I happen to use. Um, the third thing you will need is baking soda. Okay. And then you'll need, of course, a toothbrush, a cup, a small cup or a very small container, um, and a teaspoon. And it does not have to be a measuring teaspoon. It can actually be an eating te teaspoon. Okay? So, um, let me show you the steps on how to obtain that. I'm not actually going to brush my teeth and do it but I'll just I'll demonstrate it for you so that you get the point and you can do it okay so the way you would do this is that you would take your toothbrush and then you would apply toothpaste onto your toothbrush then what I do is I put baking soda into a small little um, cup like this I then with the toothpaste on my toothbrush dip it into the baking soda and begin to brush and you're going to brush thoroughly for about two minutes as the dentist recommends that you do after you finish brushing you're going to rinse your mouth as usual and then you will take um, the cup the spoon you're going to pour a teaspoonful of peroxide into the cup and then with that same teaspoon you're going to take water and you're going to pour that into the same cup. You're going to mix it around, put it in, in your mouth, and you will swish that around for about two minutes. Swish it all throughout your teeth. Then you're going to spit it out, and then you will fill your mouth with water, rinse it around, and then spit that out. Okay? And in order to, uh, to gain wider um, teeth, you're going to do this for two weeks, morning and night. And you will see a significant difference. This is something that I've been doing consistently for a long time. And I am telling you the results are amazing. It almost seems as, as if you went out and brought you know, a, a whitening um, system or something for your teeth. Now some things I will tell you is that you do need to consider your lifestyle. If you are a smoker or if you are a black coffee drinker, your results can vary. Um, so the person who does not smoke or does not drink coffee, they may have different results. But wherever you are and whatever you do, you will definitely see results if you do this consistently. Okay. And then what you can also do is after a few months, if you feel like you need a refresher or a pick-me-up or you need to just brighten up a little bit more, you can do it again. Um, you may not have to go the two weeks again. You can maybe do it for a week and then re-whiten and then you're good. And every so often you can just touch up. Okay, um, I'm telling you, you'll be so happy with the results. People will comment on how white your teeth are, how nice your smile is. You will absolutely love it. And this is something that I've also discussed with my dental hygienist. And she did, did let me know that it's uh, effective and that it is healthy and that it is safe. Okay. Um, also, if you are wondering about my hair, um, since this is a different type of tutorial, what I am wearing today is a two-day-old um, flexi rod set. Um, I set my hair with flexi rods two days ago, and then um, last night I um, pin curled it, and I used little clips like this to hold the pin curls in place, and then I tied it up, um, took it down, and this is what I came out with. So if you're interested, if you like this style, and if you want to learn how to obtain it, I can certainly do a tutorial on that. So just let me know. Just comment, um, comment, rate, subscribe, and share. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.